Time for Nissan back in the game. Great feature as they support high school football across the country. Tonight we salute the Vancouver area school. Yeah, John Pankratz, uh, alum. Glenn Anderson of the great Oiler days with Gretzky and Messier and all of those guys. And of course, wow, Michael J. Fox, also alum of this school. It just keeps getting better. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, hold on. We're going to put him in that seat group. <laughs> he's, he's in there as well, Farron Lodge. And this is Burnaby Central, the former Wildcat for Lodge. Remember family ties with Michael J. Fox, my dating myself on that one. That's, that's me as well. It's going way back. And they had a couple of seats or second in the provincial championships. This is a great program. They're going to rebuild the football program at Burnaby Central Secondary. And we know how good high school football is in the Vancouver area. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll give credit in part to Lodge for that. Yeah. High school, school football, football coach in the lower mainland. Oh, they played for a standstill in this third quarter. First down, Argos. Here's a completion to Sinkfield. And he's got a first down up across the 50 yard line. Yeah, I remember family ties. I don't know if everybody does. Well, I remember there was Alex P. Keaton. That was played by Michael J. Fox. Steve and Elise were the. Mom and Dad, of course, Mallory and Jennifer were in the family. And then there was the, the character that was the neighbor who was called Skippy. And, and apparently, this is inside info, but the Farhan Lodge actually auditioned for that role. I hope he didn't. He didn't did get it. We just thought we'd take a look at what it might have looked like had he got the part. Here's Curtis Steele. Straight ahead. Brought down by Elamudian. Argos move it into Lion territory. 99.9% .9 of our audience are going, what are you guys talking about? Family ties was a long time ago. That's how Michael J. Fox got his start, though. Number one show. Absolutely. There's the number one tackler in the CFL. And if he breaks J.C. Sheridan's record, yeah. we're going to have an interesting debate about who the best defensive player in the league is. So the backfield, the steal is cut down. There's Ronnie Yell on the corner. Boy, the corners, the young corners have played well tonight. Yeah, they yelled at a new spot to TJ Lee on the yeah. wide side corner. Eastern Washington and San Jose State, you're right. They've stepped up. Anytime they've been challenged or tested, they've answered, they've answered the bell. And, and that's another big hit. That's why he's so aggressive. I mean, even when he's playing the wide field, Ronnie Yell is coming up that quickly on little hit screens, things, things like, like that. that. On big hits. <laughs> Third straight series where first downs produced at least seven yards and they haven't got a, a first down out of it. And Water sails this one through and it'll be a single point. And not sure that was the intent, but it does get the Argos within three. It's a 71 yard rouge for Swayze Waters as this defensive battle continues.